Hi there, my name is Corey and I'm going to show you how to run an off-cycle payroll to report annual wages. The first thing you want to do is go over to the payroll tab and select run payroll. Above you'll see where you would run a regular payroll and we'll get one ahead over to other payroll options and select off-cycle. The first thing you'll see is basics in the work period. This is optional and you can leave this blank or you can set this to the very beginning of the year and then the end date to December 31st. Payment date, I would just recommend leaving as is, as long as this is within this current fiscal year and current quarter. Deductions and contributions, you will always want to leave as marked. Tax withholding rates is something that we will want to affect. You wanna come over to edit rates, and then make sure this section is set to annually if you are reporting these wages as received for the whole year. You can change these amounts, uh, the, these sections to any frequency you want. Just know the higher the frequency, the more federal and state income tax will be withheld. And then finally, you'll just come down to the bottom and select your name or whoever you are running this payment for and click enter payment. One thing to note here is you'll want to select either net earnings or gross earnings based on how you're wanting this taxed. If you're wanting to report the amount as exactly how you received it, um, meaning that if you took home $50,000 for the year and you want to show that you took home $50,000 for the year, you want to enter this amount into net earnings. This is going to gross up the wages to show that you took home the full amount and so your gross earnings are higher because the taxes are now being taken out. If on opposite, if you want to just report a gross earnings amount, so an after, a before tax amount, you'll enter it into gross earnings. And then once you submit this payroll, it'll say the after tax amount and that's what you would be taking home. The next part of this is either selecting if you want Gusto to direct deposit the after tax amount to you or if you're wanting to just report this so we're handling taxes. Typically in this you will just be reporting wages and having Gusto debit for taxes. So if that's the case you want to make sure this is set to check. That means we will not be direct depositing the after tax amount and just reporting wages and debiting taxes. That's all you need to do on this page and you can hit save and continue to the PTO page and select save and continue again. And then you will be on the review and submit page where it will show you a breakdown of these taxes on these wages. And then here you can see what the after amount, after tax amount would be based on if I entered the amount I received this year into gross earnings. Again, since I set this payment method to check, I we will not be direct depositing this amount. We are just reporting it for W-2 purposes and direct debiting for taxes. Once this all looks good, the last step is just to hit submit payroll, and then you are all set and reported wages for the year. If you get to this page and it asks you to print checks, just know that you can click done and not have to worry about it and you're all set. And that's how you process an annual payroll in Gusto.